Hi, it's Rob here. There are three ways and only three ways uh, to sell a lot more. Uh, a lot of people get really distracted doing many other things that actually aren't the three things that help you sell a lot more. So here we go. There's going to be a pretty quick video. Uh, make sure you focus on the right one and I'll explain to you why I think um, each one is the right one or the wrong one at the right time or the wrong time. Okay, so the first thing is more leads, more opportunities to sell, you know, marketing basically. You know, if you have a shop, um, sales is what's done in the shop, what's bought in the shop. You need a good salesperson, some good stock, um, you know, a good um, system for selling, uh, upselling. I remember I went and bought a Tom Ford suit and came back with two shirts, two pairs of shoes, three ties and all the other bits. They were good at cross-selling and upselling me in the shop. But marketing is getting people into the shop. So I've um, helped a couple of people in the last week or so that are um, heavily focusing on tweaking their product, um, when in reality, they just haven't got enough people seeing their product. They're spending all their time tweaking the product, assuming that that's the issue. So look at it like this. Let's say um, you convert at 10%. Well, if you have 10 people to sell to, then you sell one. If you have 100 people to sell to, you sell 10. Now, even if you double your conversion, which would be genius, by the way, if you have 10 people to sell to, you go from one to two. But if you halve your conversion to 100, you go from 10 to five. So you sell a lot more, even if your product or your pitch is not as good, if you go to more people. Sounds kind of obvious, but a lot of people, uh, remember in the title I said, avoid all other distractions. Everything else is, is a distraction. So your branding, your brochures, your website, your vision, your values, they are often just distractions. So the first way to sell a lot more is to generate a lot more volume of interest, of leads. Marketing. Um, I might be able to tell, tell you a few ways to do that if I have enough time on this video. The second thing then is the conversion environment. So that's your ability to sell or, you, you know, the compelling nature of the, the sales proposition, if you like. Um, so, you know, I don't know if you're selling one to one, if you're selling one to many through videos or public speeches, but your ability to convey a message, to move people's minds and hearts and emotions, to get them to see themselves buying, using, owning and benefiting from the product. So basically you or your enterprise as a sales proposition. The third thing then is the quality of the product, how good the product is, the offer, um, you know, what the, the thing that you package together to make people want to buy it. That could be just the fact that it's a great time in the market and everyone wants it. It could be that you've packaged it in such a beautiful way, like Apple packaged their products. Could be that it meets a need, solves a problem. Could be that it's the best. It could be that it's the, the best value, the, the, the best price or the lowest price or the highest price. Um, but it's the actual deliverables of the product. So let me go through those again, just detail them a little bit more and then I'll let you get on your way. Okay, so um, the first way to sell more is to generate more business, more leads, leads that turn into clients. So that's increasing your marketing, that is getting uh, your product and service out to the world, maybe through social media, maybe through proven direct marketing channels like Facebook, click, uh, uh, Facebook and Google pay per click. Um, or some well-timed magazine and newspaper ads to the right demographic, that kind of thing. But, um, you know, often tweaking and iterating and fiddling around like a mad professor genius on your product uh, is just a distraction. Um, I think that the most important function of any business is marketing. Now, people could say, oh, well, it's you know, managing the money, it's the finance or it's the product itself. But without marketing, without interest, without leads and clients, you have no product because if no one's using it, it doesn't exist. So it's just a hobby that costs you money. Um, there's no money to manage if you're not generating an abundant amount of, of leads and of good quality. So if you're getting good leads, but the quality isn't good, you need to look at where you're marketing to make sure that you're marketing to the right demographic of the quality of leads. If you've got good quality of leads, but there's not enough, then you need to scale that up. You need to find out where your best customers who spend the most and are um, you know, the happiest and the least demanding and the least on ex expensive and stressing on your overhead um, and you need to um, create like a, an ideal client demographic. Um, they, they frequent these places. They're this kind of person in this kind of age range, in this kind of part of the world. 
they read these kind of magazines, go to these kind of events. So you've got a really clear idea and then you mark it in those places where those people are. Um, then we move on to your ability to create a great value proposition. So that could be, you know, just um, your ability to sell, to speak, to influence, to inspire and to write great copy. Um, you know, like a thousand songs in your pocket when the iPod launched. I mean, that was just great copy. It was a great tagline. That's, that sold it almost on its own. After Steve Jobs had written that, it didn't really need to do anything else. So, of course, there are many different elements. So are you working on your craft? Are you overcoming your fears and doubts about putting yourself out to the world? Are you, you know, learning to sell, learning to market, learning to inspire, learning to write, learning to speak in such a way that people are motivated and moved to want to buy your products and services? Um, and that can be you or that can be your sales team or that can be your online shop front, you know, the, the e-commerce engine that has the least amount of friction. I mean, think about that Amazon one click order button. I mean, that must have cost them millions and millions to develop. It looks simple, but it's not. But that one thing where you could just go click and you don't have to put all your credit card details in again, just removes all the friction. And of course, the whole engine of you buy X and then people also viewed Y and bought Z. Um, so, you know, that engine to offer you the relevant products and services that you also want to buy. All of this tech that they developed to remove the friction for you to buy more easily and more relevant to you. You know, Google won the search engine war because their search was relevant. And Amazon won the e-commerce war uh, because the products and services that they offered to you were really, I've just bit my lip, were really easy to buy. And then the ones that they offered to you that were, uh, you know, linked or you may also feel are relevant to you are relevant to you. OK. And then the third thing is the actual product itself. And now sometimes that's a better version. Sometimes that's better packaging, a better bonus stack, um, you know, better value proposition, a better price, uh, etc. Okay, so focus on those three things. More leads, better at selling, and then better product and offer, and you will vastly grow your sales, your business, um, and everything else, everything else is but a distraction. Be careful not to get distracted, and you're probably doing all those other things because deep down you're worried. You have fear, you have rejection, you have past baggage um, about one of those three areas. All right, thanks for tuning in. If you think that there's anyone that you know that's starting a business or that you want to help or you feel maybe could do benefit from selling more and making more money or just, you know, this content, then please do share it with them. I rarely ask people to share the videos, but I want to help business people make more money. You know, that's ultimately what I want to do. Uh, and yeah, that, you know, I want to help them to get freedom and choice and profit, um, but I want to help them drive sales so good that their biggest problem is how to manage all of that money. Uh, and I think this can help people. So let's spread the word and share the love. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, and remember, if you don't risk anything, you risk everything.